Hello my friends, can you see this right here, all that rust? I have distilled white vinegar here and I want to go ahead and do this. Now I could just pour it in, however I need you to think about how that would actually work. It would be um, really diluted. So what I want to go ahead is and do is I want to show you how to clean this with vinegar. Now I may also just pour it in and show you what happens, but first I want to get extra strength on some of this area and not have it diluted. So what I want to do first is I want to go ahead and turn the water off down there um, and then I want to flush it and then I want to go ahead and spray it and I have a bottle here that I already put vinegar in. So let me go ahead and start this process. Let me set this camera up here. Right. <clears throat> and let me put this right here and hopefully you can see the process. Okay, so there's a shutoff valve. <clears throat> There's a, uh, there's a shutoff valve down here, so I want to go ahead and reach underneath and turn that. And the reason I want to turn it is so that the water is turned off, and I want to go ahead and flush it, okay? So, since I shut the water off, it shouldn't be able to refill now that I'm just kind of holding it up like this. I want the wire to pretty much drain out. Now it should stop it from refilling because I could just pour it in, just straight pour it in, but it may take a lot more to actually start working if I do that. So, okay, so you can see what I did. I turned the water off down there, I emptied it. <coughs> Let me go ahead and show you over here what's going on. So right here, <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and, I wanna just pour some in. I'm gonna probably spray some as well. But, right here, see this? Okay, you can see I yeah, pour it in. I also have a sprayer. The sprayer, I, I really like, let me adjust them out a little bit. <clears throat> I like the sprayer because I just do. Yeah. Yeah, that's not right. Okay, there we go. I just wanna go ahead and spray it down and give it some time to sit on there and soak. Now, obviously, if I wanted to get really aggressive with this, I could put, um, like a much harsher thing, perhaps even muriatic acid, but you know what, the fumes for that would be so terrible. It could be ex extremely harmful to myself to do something like that because the fumes in the enclosed area, so I do not recommend something like that. Um, I may do a series on this, on distilled white vinegar. Now, <coughs> if you want to up it, you may want to add some baking soda if you're trying to do something. Um, I'm just saying, you may want to go ahead and if you want to up it up, like up up the cleaning power, up up the cleaning power, did I just make it work? You may want to add some baking soda, okay? I'm um, just saying. So I just really want it to really be on there good. So it's, I want to give it some time to sit. Um, it, to me, it looks like it's coming off a little bit right there or lightening up or something, but maybe I'm imagining things. All right, so I have it, and I sprayed some on, spraying some more on. I wanna give it some time. Um, you, you could pour it in your tank and down uh, up here and like let it sit overnight. Um, that is one thing, but it just kind of, you know, if it has to sit there and be diluted by all the water, that's gonna obviously probably affect it, just saying. So, <clears throat> But this is a really good toilet to do because there's so much rust on it. Let me go ahead and set the camera up on the tripod here so I can work better. So here we go. Let me just see if I can raise it up. There we go. And so. Okay. Make sure that it's doing good job. All right. So here we go. Let me adjust this a little bit. I just want everything to be really saturated. And... Um, I want to see what happens. Show you what happens here, all right? So here we go. And I'm gonna give it uh, probably some time to sit as my plan. Let's go ahead and pour some on. You get a good see what's happening good.
Let's just, yeah, let's just be generous. Okay, let's just be generous. So, um, there we go. Let's go ahead and let that, um, let's let that sit and come back and let's see what happens. All right, my friends, so it's been sitting. I have also put some more on, but let me show you something amazing. You ready for this? I have this, you could use a brush, maybe something different, but watch. I just need, you just need to share this moment with me. Look at that, oh my word. Look, 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 look. You don't wanna miss this moment, hold on. Let me just, okay. Sorry if the camera's shaking, but look at that. Oh my word. Look, just, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look, look at that. Look at the difference. Okay, let's go back, let's set it up. I need to do this just right. Okay, hold on, do this. Actually, let's see here. Sorry, the camera's a little hard. Trying to do important stuff here. We're trying to do important stuff. You ready? Okay, so I can just dip it in here because there's vinegar in the back. But you see how easy this is? I didn't even have to let it sit like overnight. Now vinegar can be used for a lot of things. Some people might use it for beauty, whatever. You might want to use it for coffee stains, maybe to help prevent mildew, mold. Um, Maybe it's like an a, a all natural type cleaner. It can be used for a lot more stuff than just the toilet. But look what this thing did. Now, I might need to get a brush to reach back up in here, some of these areas. Get back up in here. But you can see that a shocking transformation that this has done. It's just incredible. It was so bad before, and it's so good now. I do have a little something, something over here. I wanna go ahead and show you, I'm just kinda using like a green Abrilla pad. I might do links in the description where you can probably click to buy, um, maybe like some vinegar, Abrilla pad, whatever, like affiliate type link. But um, it really didn't take a lot of pressure. Um, some people may really like the all natural type thing, you know, of like vinegar. Now, <clears throat> there is still like a little bit of a line there. This is like mace pretty much rust is what this was. Um, there's still kind of like a, a line at the top which might come off if you let it soak for longer. But this is actually incredible that it could be so good like, so good. Let me go ahead and see this. Like, I mean, that's just incredible. Remember how dirty it was before? So it's kind of amazing that it could be this good. So anyways, my friends, I need you to please share the video. Please, and give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and turn, turn on your notifications. I've got, I think it's over 1,500 videos and live streams up with millions of views. If you guys, if you all could, sh um, like with, with, with everything, <clears throat> if you all could share this, please subscribe, turn on notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Let me know any other uh, videos you may want me to do with like vinegar. I may do like a series. I may, this may be like the first one in a series. I may do like other stuff with like white, white, white vinegar to show you. But as you can see, it is amazing what it can do. And I didn't have to use like harsh chemicals or whatever. So, um, let's see right here. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I love you all. Please subscribe, turn on notifications, and um, thanks for being here. And I may put affiliate links where you can buy it in the description. So I appreciate you all. Please give it a thumbs up. Love you all, and let me, let me show them the inside here. Look at that. <clears throat> Isn't that amazing, the difference? It's so easy, too. I didn't let it, even let it sit for that long. So it's pretty amazing. Thank you all so much. Love you all, and bye.